Hello, how you doing? Have you heard the term swarm in the context of OpenAI? And you're not quite sure you know exactly what this is. Well, if so, then watch along with me for the next few minutes and I will quickly get you up to speed. Okay, let's get started. So what is OpenAI Swarm? OpenAI Swarm is a simple open source framework where multiple AI agents can work together to get things done. It's designed to help developers experiment with how agents can talk to each other and share tasks. So with all of the frameworks out there, is Swarm worth checking out? What makes Swarm different from the other agent tools like Langchain, Crew AI, or Google ADK? Well, let me tell you a little bit more about Swarm before I answer that question. Swarm is all about building multi-agent systems. Instead of one big agent doing everything, Swarm lets you build a team of smaller agents. Each one has its own job and can pass work to others when needed. In Swarm, each agent is defined with a name, a set of tools, and an optional routine. When the agent is activated, Swarm reads the routine, executes steps in that order, and makes decisions or calls tools as needed. In the spirit of simplicity, the Swarm team made a design decision to keep no memory on purpose. So Swarm is stateless by design. Swarm doesn't remember things between steps, and that's intentional. The line of reasoning is it makes it easier to control and understand what the agent is doing. Unlike some frameworks that manage conversational history or maintain long-lived agent memory, Swarm treats each interaction as new, relying only on the input it receives and the defined context variables. This keeps the system simple, transparent, and easier to debug, though it comes at a cost of limited long-term memory. One of Swarm's clever mechanisms is its handoff system. If one agent hits a task it can't handle, it can hand off that task to another agent that is better suited. It's like calling a teammate who's better at a specific skill. So how does Swarm interact with the outside world? Well, like other agentic frameworks out there today, Swarm allows you to provide your agents with tools such as APIs or access to databases to help them do real world tasks. This makes them more useful than just beyond chatting. So how does Swarm compare to Langchain? Well, Langchain is primarily designed to help developers build one powerful agent composed of a chain of tools, prompts, memory, and logic. Alternatively, Swarm is designed for agentic systems with multiple independent agents that can hand off tasks to each other. So how does Swarm compare to LangGraph? Well, LangGraph, like LangChain, lets you build a single agent, but additionally supports logic flows, states, and loops. Like LangChain, LangGraph is more oriented to building a single agent. Again, Swarm is better suited for building multiple agents that coordinate across tasks and systems. So how does Swarm compare to Google ADK? Well, in this case, both of these frameworks are oriented toward building multi-agent systems. One big difference is Swarm does not provide built-in memory. Again, remember Swarm is stateless by design. Alternatively, Google ADK does have built-in support for stateful memory per agent. So what about security? How does Swarm do in this area? Well, like most agentic frameworks in 2025, with the exception of Google ADK, you, the engineer, will need to explicitly build security into your agentic system when using Swarm. The Swarm framework does not natively provide you any additional security capabilities. So going back to my earlier question, is Swarm worth checking out? Well, Swarm simplicity makes it a great fit for prototyping multi-agent solutions. Swarm is lightweight and is good at fast prototyping with few dependencies, making it perfect for testing ideas and building small demos. That said, Swarm is still experimental and lacks some of the advanced features found in more mature frameworks, 
like persistent memory, advanced state management, security, and plug and play integrations. For this reason, although great for prototyping and experimentation, Swarm is not really a framework you'd want to use for production. So there you go. Okay, let me know what you think of Swarm. Do you think you might experiment with this new agentic framework? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. I want to hear what you think about this topic. Okay, thanks for watching. This video, along with all the other business playlists, are listed in the YouTube description. I invite you to watch other videos on my channel. If you like the way I'm sharing this content, please consider subscribing. When you subscribe, this really helps my channel grow. One last thing, we all love technology and we're all excited about all the innovation with the cloud, machine learning, and AI. But don't forget to carve out time to live in the real world. Go outside, go swimming, go hiking, go climbing, go surfing. Get out and move your body. And if you do, let me know in the comments. I want to hear about this as well. And with that, have a great day. Thank you.